Hi, welcome to Warrior Bride International. I'm so happy that you uh, will give you time to tune in and listen to the podcast. Thank you so much for for uh, sharing. You, if you want to, if you know, if you know somebody who needs to hear this message, and I'm so happy that if you would like to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for the newcomers, and uh, this uh, prophetic uh, word. Uh, the title of it is Red October Alert, and I receive it on the 8th of October, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. So before I start, I will pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender everything to you, Lord. Use this vessel, and thank you, Lord, that you do mighty things in these days. Lord, I thank you for, for all the listeners they will have ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart that can receive the word. Thank you, Jesus, that you will confirm yourself in all the mighty enough. Thank you, Lord, that we can we praise you, Lord, and we, uh, we lift your name up, up on high. Thank you, Jesus, that you are mighty in power, mighty in glory. Thank you, Jesus, that you will heal those who need to be healed. Thank you, Lord, that you will send food to those who need food and help in any kind, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that those who are listening, they will, they will receive blessings from you, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Thank you. We proclaim the blood of Jesus over this channel. We proclaim your victory and uh, your, your spirit of excellence will go before me right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. Um, the title of uh, the prophetic word is uh, Red October Alert. Red October, my children. Uh, Red October, my children stay awake and alert the f uh, for the things that will happen quickly. And I am accelerating the time. This is a month of great shakings and turnarounds for my children who have been asking for settlement and wealth. Red Alert I am shaking all that can be shaken. Great embarrassment will come to many political leaders in Denmark and other countries. Why do we tremble? Why are you raging against me? Says the Lord of hosts, uh, says the Lord of the earth and the heavens. I have seen the portals where the government has been trying to open for the demons to enter through CERN and other places with sacrifices from the blood of the innocents. I say, you came too early. It is not the time for Antichrist. My angel armies are in their position and my angel armies are in their positions, and your adversaries are no match for me, says the Lord of hosts. Pray and be watchful as the watchman on the wall. The weather is unusual. The time is unusual. Take heed of my word, my warnings. Suddenly is are coming. Surprises are coming on both sides. Bad surprises for the wicked and divine and glorious blessings and surprises for my children. Choose wisely in this hour where you stand. You can't serve two masters. You either love me or hate me, says the Lord of hosts. On this um, prophetic word, I just want to comment for what is uh, what is to come and what is ongoing now we see the the shakings all over the world you see in Matthew 24 you can read about what what is in the we are in that timeline now Matthew 24 and um, God he will he God he says that he will accelerate in the time and we will see that the time will go faster because God, He wants to save as many people as possible. So what we are going into, we are going into the harvest, the, greater ha the greatest harvest in the world history. The world history uh, will be changed forever. Very soon you will see it, and we will be witness to the change of what God, He will do. Because God, He says that every 
every living person, everything on this earth will, will see the, and acknowledge, uh, they have the knowledge of, the, of uh, God here. So there will be no uh, atheist left because every, everybody, everyone will see the glory of God. Either you believe in him or not. So, so be sure of it that you are on the uh, on the right side. We are in this timeline to because we uh, we know that we have to choose on which side we uh, we stand on God's side or uh, on the side of Satan. You can't to serve two masters. It's so important that you know who you are in Christ. And if you don't know who you are in Christ, then seek Him. Because I seek Him every day. My family are seeking Him every day. And God, He says that He will, uh, when we are seeking, we'll f we will find. If we are knocking on the door, the door will be open for us. We, if we are diligent every single day to to seek for the Lord. and But God, He is shaking everything what can be shaken. And um, my brother in Canada, after Palowski, he, he said that he, he dreamt, um, um, uh, I, I just want to mention after Palowski because he is a brother uh, who went to uh, uh, Bo Polnis uh, podcast or, or um, website on YouTube and he he's they had an interview and the uh, after Palowski said that he dreamt that he, there was a big big fence on the whole world and every people were sitting there on the fence and uh, he saw big hands that was uh, taking the uh, the hands on the fence and and he shook 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 the fence so everybody will, uh, will fall to the one side or the other side so and this is what we are seeing today that God he will separate the goats from the uh, from the uh, from the sheep or the sheep from the goats there will be a division from all those who call themselves Christians but God he says that the righteous in his eyes those who are keep following up and being obedient to uh, his commandments and what he said about uh, what we should do so God is looking for for people who are obedient, and um, and the, all the prophetic word will always point to God. It's never about us. It's about God. It's about Jesus. It's about what He has to say. My opinion uh, uh, doesn't matter. What God uh, God's opinion matter, and how can you know about God's opinion? Is by reading the the Bible. God he says that in Amos 3 says that surely the, the Lord will do nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets and in Amos you see the whole Holy Bible, the Bible, the scripture say, tells us about uh, how God's plans are and uh, what he's thinking of us and and he will give us directions he will give us clarity of how we should live so so you will have the answer in the scripture you have the answer in the uh, in the bible so when you are asking for an answer look into the scripture and he will re reveal the scripture for us you and i so i pray right now that god will reveal himself to you if you don't know how to hear so I pray right now that God will anoint your ears and anoint your eyes so you can hear what the Spirit says and see what he says and God he says that we will taste and see that the Lord is good and we the remnant of God the righteous people God he have uh, God he he says that he have selected him uh, him um, himself people uh, who, who wants to be obedient all the way to who wants to be faithful to him so I pray right now the anointing will come over you stretch out your arms your hands and the anointing it will flow through the screen and God he will meet you right there 
Kura pasanta la kipa roka pasanta, kipa shike pasura. Tell God, tell Jesus, here I am, and I want you to anoint my my eyes and ears so I can see and hear, but also my heart so I can be obedient to what you are saying, God, right now in Jesus' name. Kara pasuke pasanta, hira paroka pasanta, ima ma paraka pasanta. In Jesus' name, I receive it, I believe it, I receive it, and I call it done right now in Jesus' name. Say it, say it now, say it now, and receive it. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Hi.